Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I'm blessed to be joined today by the multimedia digital artist, Ben Dawson. Hey, Ben, how are you? Hi, Johnny. I'm doing good. Thank you. How are you? Uh, good, mate. I'm really happy to have you here and looking forward to learning about your journey as a digital artist. But first, can we tune into some of your digital art creations? Um, yeah, of course. Um, they can be found Hi. online. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Well, let's take a look now at Ben Dawson, some of his digital art. The more I think about entering, the more I've already gone through. The red gates swing open, hingeless, transcendental, glowing, iridescent gate. The name is the guess of a substance. In a given space, the alchemist who drew the circle can cast the spell. Now it's up to you. I am serious. I have postured a serious that demands a revolution. The revolution is a language, but it's a language that I don't understand. The language stops the limit. It's an official channel by sex and intersex ideas. But this channel isn't true. Channels are bisecting and diverging, and channels aren't truth. I am a liar, and I don't like to tell the truth. I'm lying to everyone and myself. So, what we're going to find out is, what is truth? Non-human alienation is a form of stiffness. My jaw clenches, the soft air loads. Let's think about locations. Where are we? Air moves slowly. She is stark reminders that I'm breathing. It's slow and soft. I am free folding. Eclipses can't last forever. Did you know that? My feet will walk through sludge, easing my way through sludgy, solid, heavy-hearted steps. Running, jumping, flipping, evading, moving. I'm running from something, but I don't know what I'm running from. Hey Ben, amazing work, man. And looking forward to learning about you now. Can you tell me where you're from and how did you get involved in digital artwork? Yeah. Um... I am a London-based artist based in East London. Um, I got quite interested in animation maybe like four or five years ago, and I was interested in software and technology and kind of the limits and boundaries of technology within art and kind of the questions that that conjures up. <laughs> oh, I love it, Ben. You know what I mean? You are an in innovator because you're taking all the latest developments and creating them into kind of, uh, you know, um, projects which involve kind of almost, you know, special effect related new experiences, right? Yeah, I guess there's something really interesting about like um, digital animation and like using kind of softwares that like open up potentials. So it's like really fun to use stuff that is very challenging, but also like that are similar to like um, things we know from cinema. So it's quite interesting to play with, with technology in a way that's more specifically tailored. Oh, that's cool because an artist like you will take some of these emerging elements and find ways to integrate them in some really interesting and new kind of creative styles um, that are all kind of pushed out through new technologies, but also start in the imagination. Um, so I'm, I'm also really inspired by that, Ben. Now, let me ask you this question. When you were considering being an artist, did you use traditional mediums prior to doing the digital work? Yeah, um, I guess I was... I kind of practiced in a very different and multimedia style and a very different iterative manner. I guess I'm interested in kind of printmaking, um, photography, textile, but also I'm interested in like um, research and writing as practical artwork. But I kind of did a lot of experimenting, figuring out what I like and what I don't like to now come to this more digital film animation, maybe video installation style practice. So it's been like a journey between a lot of things. Oh, that's beautiful, man. And, uh, and that's what I kind of uh, anticipated because, you know, probably when a lot of these artistic sensibilities start developing, it's when we're kind of young heading into the teen years and maybe even some of the technology wasn't even available at the time. And that's what's so ex exciting now that you're kind of, I don't know, a more seasoned wizard to be able to 
link these machinations together and amazing creations. Okay, so now let me, let me ask this. You know, what, what are you working on right now then, Ben? What's coming up for you? Yeah, I am currently producing uh, a new body of work, um, an animated film and some AR filters um, inspired by um, the kind of narrative structures around um, mythology kind of um, and mythology mixed with technology. So this kind of balance of medieval knights and this very high 4K rendering of these CG knights and kind of in using narrative and kind of discourse style questions to radicalize and change what we know in a digital sense. So it's kind of complicated, but it's gonna be turned into a film and some AR filters that are activated with a phone. So it's kind of more immersive, but also still super digital. Listen, I dig that. And I'll tell you why also. It's like, you know, my own Celtic heritage from Ireland and, and that also <laughs> links us and relates us, brother, you being from England. You know, it's, it's this myth, mythology, storytelling that culturally we have always appreciated and put forth. And now you're finding kind of a new electronic digital way in which to storytell um, that have maybe some of these nuances uh, related to some of that mythology, some of that storytelling, some of that narrative that's so powerfully kind of uh, relatable to us as human beings uh, and, and, and really interesting and entertaining. And so looking forward to that, Ben. So let me ask this question. What kind of social media links do you use? Do you have a website? And yeah, um, yeah, I use um, Instagram. My Instagram's just Ben Dawson 110. I have a website. It's my name, dot space. I couldn't afford dot com because it was taken, which is uh -huh. quite funny. Yeah. But no, um, yeah, I'm quite active on Instagram and my artist website. Um, I also have a show reel on Vimeo and I also have YouTube links to video works that um, exist online that are a bit longer. Oh, beautiful, Ben. Okay, well, then what we're going to do is we're going to follow your progress by tuning into those links. And also, we're looking forward to you being on Phoenix 360. So I want everyone to tune into links for Ben Dawson. Check him out on <laughs> Phoenix 360. And thank you, my brother, for being with me. I really appreciate you. You keep emerging. Thank you so much for chat chatting, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, buddy. It's my pleasure, man. You take good care, mate. Keep making art. I am no one. I am many. Elasticity lingers within. Otherized objects must return home as our cowboys places his hat on his head. Sentimentality overriding and benevolence. Theses feelings aren't moodily exclusive to cowboys. Materiality as the question. The tensions between the digital alchemy and human soul. We all want to be found. Data always finds a way home. Home is the vitriol shell. Render I couldn't feel so I tried to touch. Linguistics and dialects evaporated into auto-generated emotions. We need to find exile from imposter syndrome celestial light age hovering over pixels erasing. Pixelated blemishes or errors, fascinations of the unknown bellow. Though the West fictional westerns played out in body and data trail gravity as matter's response to loneliness, longing, succinct instrumentation of automation anomaly avoidance. I got bored of thinking cowboys were special. Sometimes there isn't anything to be said, maybe when I find the truth, I will stop feeling hollow, the cowboy muttered under his breath hijacked, the division of self into sectors to conform abrasiveness, analyzed, indexed, manipulated, re-aggregates. Our 
dormant moon rider mounts his stead intoxicated on abandoned sparseness aimless ridding is a meditation ruminating on endeavors of loneliness. Everyone carries loneliness with them. A shadow cascaded down dragging on the ends of his spurs are cowboys consciousness based placed on cultural context data mapped on the set facades. The cowboy avatar from a previous half-life there is no honor here cowboy if you're not familiar with the term digital wild west it means the internet where every site is a free for all for anyone to use for any reason no restrictions no paywall all free and the internet is the wild west free speech and unlimited access are the primary values of the internet the Wild West has always been a place where the individual and their choices and preferences are respected, regardless of their wealth or political position, social status or ethnicity. The Wild West was a place where anyone could be anything. Alchemy only works under the correct conditions. You need to be able to allow the transmutation of materials to evolve. The digital is an alchemical process. Our elements include data and render time.